Hello everyone and welcome back to the Catholic Gamer Dude Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen Operation Star Fist to supply line raid in the wilderness of East Asia. We are to neutralize all enemy targets and secure supplies from the Ava Convoy, an old school supply raid. Go in there, kill everything, get stuff. Don't blow up the stuff that we're not supposed to blow up. Very straightforward. Not like where you tag boxes and you hope that you don't stretch your forces out too thin and all that other nonsense. The disabled Advent Convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. The squad is in position and concealed. With the environmental conditions down there, they should be able to stay hidden without revealing each other if they're sighted. All right, so we got ourselves a run-of-the-mill uh, supply run here. We just basically go around the map and nuke everything that isn't a supply crate. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we expect to encounter a good amount of organic enemies and possibly the Chosen on this one. It's been a while, I think. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, again, there's not much to it. We're pretty well equipped, so let's get started. All right, let's see here. First and foremost, do we have any scouts? Erganim is overly aggressive. Affirmative. Moving let's out. see. We do not see anything. The boundary of the map is here and here. So except for the unlikely event of encountering something like over here, we could pretty much just keep moving forward. There's no time limit. Rolling. Got ourselves our first pod there, who seem to have disappeared almost as soon as we saw them, which is kind of bizarre. I'm gonna move up. All right, so we see them now that we can keep tabs on them. The fencing, the which means that the uh, train and the supplies are probably beyond here. Which is fine. We should be able to blink this pot out of existence uh, pretty quickly. But we're going to move up and stay in cover just in case. We want to take them on their terms. On our terms, not their terms. It's the opposite. Let's do this. See combat presence, which is grants an extra action to a squad mate, right? Could didn't recognize a symbol. That's why I want to take a look at it. I must run. Let's see here. And then we'll just kind of move up. Do this. So move forward. Two sectoids. And a muton. It's an interesting little pod there. So the question is, who goes first? Can pop a sectoid. We can pop a muton. It's rather interesting. Trying to figure out. Unlocks the ripjack slide. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm trying to just... It's been a while since I've looked at the symbols. It would be like, ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's something I've used several times. All right. Let's see here. Problem is I can't really in get any closer from what I can tell without breaking full cover. And if I move any closer, they might patrol back. I think I might just wait one more turn and see where they go. Again, we don't have any... Uh... Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Well, here we go. <laughs> that worked. No tissue damage. We put our soldiers through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. If we do take out the Muton, that'll be great. That's a miss, I think. Maybe. That was, I think that's, we have like one more overwatch. Nice. Okay, well. I'm actually not that upset about how that turn went. Uh, having said that, that was not, uh, oh, okay, that's right, they got a sit rep conceal. 
I forgot about that. Okay, so I guess the question is, do we want to use it now and just repeat our Starling success and and uh, with Ergenim, remember not to overwatch him. Um, hmm, that was three. I forget what the count is. I really should have gone back to the video to uh, look at the um, what the 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 shadow chamber told us about how many aliens there are. Not that it really matters all that much. I'm just wondering if I want to do sit rep. So he's concealed now. Headed there now. I guess we will just move forward and keep on keeping on. Everybody up. I mean, if he, if we do, if anything stumbles into our line of sight with Arganim here, then it's going to be a bad time anyway, so we might as well take some shots. Okay, so let us move up just a little bit. I'm a little concerned about this rock here because it's blocking what appears to be line of sight. So we're going to move up. Position confirmed. Reload. Ready to go. And then we will just take another turn to Overwatch. Reload. And again, if something stumbles into our path and Ergenim is going to fire off, then everybody else can just fire as well because... So everybody's going to reveal that pod. Okay. This sit rep is like ridiculous. Good copy. Moving on target. Got a group of hostiles over here. All right. That's two stun lancers and a archon. No small potatoes. But um uh, at least in this case, we have we still have the element of surprise with the scouting. I'm on the move. Question is, where can we move to get into position? And I think the answer is we move up here. Target preview. We're just going to hang back a bit. And... Let's see. They're over here. We've lost sight of them, but they should show up relatively soon. Can't really see anything. It's about as far as I'm willing to go. And then Ergenim. High mobility will kind of help with the situation. But at the end of the day, everybody else can go on Overwatch as well because there's no point once again. We'll see where this pod goes, if possible. Okay. It may have gone around the building. There they are. Okay, no, they just kind of hung out. Does this reveal? The answer is no. So we're going to move up. We don't want to dawdle too long with this pod, mostly because we don't want the other pod to patrol right into us. So there are the supply crates right there. Uh, you can tell by the glowing little things here. There should be a few more, which is why we don't want to get too happy with the explosions. That will reveal. Hmm. Okay, we'll move up. You can see both of them from here. You see two of them from here. Archon, although that is a very low percentage. Hmm. You can move up here. Just keep 
everybody away for as long as possible. Is it clear? And we do have a mimic beacon to bail us out just in case. I think we'll stay there for the moment. If they go behind the building, they'll probably advance once we pop them. So I'm not too worried about that. The, the thing is, is your aim really that low, Sergio? Aim is only 75. That's 32. And then the defense, a natural defense of 10. Okay. That's where that comes into play. Can you move up to full cover without actually seeing them? Yeah. Okay, we'll move up here. Okay. Now we'll just wait. Okay, let's see. If our Ganem can see them, we probably want them firing anyway. Yeah. Okay. We'll see if this pod goes anywhere. Oh, here comes another pod. This is kind of what I was afraid of. There's two snakes. That's not awful. In fact, I might be willing to pop the snakes long before I pop the... The... Archon and... The, uh... Before I pop the Archon and the other... Uh, and the two... Other Stun Lancers. So... And snacks will be good because we do need to spruce up our med kits. This a question then is is that what is the best way once again to engage this pod? Four to seven damage. Rather not waste the rocket, especially if we can just pop them to get started. I'm just a little concerned about popping both pods at the same time, that would be very unfortunate. If I move up here with our concealed ranger. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Now I can see who do we see? Still see that Archon. It's very unfortunate. Let me see if I can pull him back just a little bit. You can still see all three of them from here. Dude's got vision for miles. What if I move here? Can't see anything after that. Okay, well, I'm not... I'm very curious as to where the snake pod will go. So, let's take our time. Again, if they come forward... And Ergonium pops off, everybody else pops off, and it's basically a free turn. So, they did not go anywhere. I'm wondering if we should just pop and get it over with. Pro well, the problem is that we can't move forward. So, if we kill one of them, if he moves forward, that means that he would engage. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead. I don't want to get... No, 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 no. This is how we get ourselves in trouble. This is how we get ourselves in trouble. Actually, I think it's still kind of the best play. Because we can get them down. Might end up using an explosive or two, but that would be okay. Let's go ahead and start. Target down. That's one snake down. Oh, he took the tree. Ooh. We can't just as you. We can whiplash you. At only 39%, though. That is unfortunate. I don't want to reveal you, because you will pop. Uh, let's see here. If we rocketed you. Hmm. Can you see? Yes, you can. Your weapon's only at 34%. All you can still see is the snake. 
Who can you teamwork with? Okay, good to know. All right, let's see here. I use combat protocol. You get four damage in. I'm wondering if we want to do that instead. Good news is it looks like that as a uh, uh, we have we will not encounter the chosen on this mission. So we'll do three to four damage. Gosh, see so it was kind of a tricky sp engagement, and now I'm trying to think through how to make it slightly less tricky. we move up here, we don't count, uh, alright, let's see here, got all the shots in the world, question is I just don't know if I want to take, we could strategically place the rocket, I'm actually thinking that might be the best option, let's just go ahead and do that. Now the snake is horrifically flanked. We have to be careful to move up that we don't engage the other pod. Uh, what's over there? Ninety-four percent. Okay, this is why I hate snakes. Let's see, reveal. Okay, we do not reveal. We can only just move up there. And then... 74% chance. And Snake is dead. Okay, so I got one. Now, the funniest part about it is that this Archon just sat there and watched this whole thing. is just like, oh, yo, well, gosh. I mean, snakes, they just die. That's what they do, you know? I mean, it's tragic, but at the end of the day, what can you do? Overwatch? Okay, now they got their attention, finally. Okay. That's three on a miss. That's that, uh... Rip, uh, not the repeater, the stock. And he's slightly upset. Okay. So, we got ourselves some explosions. We got ourselves some... Let's see here. Battle Frenzy. Gaining an extra action. Immunity Frost, Fire, or Poison. Immunity Frost, Fire, Frost, or Poison. Good to know. So... We can reveal ourselves to this heavy lancer. And we could just take him out with an axe and then a straight up uh, shotgun. We could also. We got so many options, I'm trying to work through them. The. We could also fire a frag grenade at this stun lancer, shred his armor. It's a really either or target though. And because of the uh gosh, only 50%. You are terrible. I'm gonna have to give you some kind of like aim bonus or tracer rounds or something. Do you have the tracer rounds? You have the venom rounds. Okay. I just naturally thought, hey, he's a sniper. He's got to have some pretty decent aim, right? Oh, boy. Was I ever wrong about that? Uh, we could justice him. Bring him forward for five. That might be an option of last resort, though. What we could do, I think, we'll see how well this goes. Yep, is it revealed? But that's okay. I want you dead. That's it. Okay. Next up. 
Okay. If we move up here... Who do we want moving up here, though? Wait, 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 wait. Oh! You know what? I think I just might do that. They blow up the container here. So the question then is, what do I follow that up with? And we still gotta remember that we have a battle frenzied, uh... We have a bat... We have a Archon here. Who is just kind of chilling. I wonder... Probably... Who ta I guess who takes that shot is what I'm asking myself. Uh, do you have... You have holo targeting. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna holo target... No. Gonna holo target at the Archon. Cause I had a feeling that was gonna miss. Negative damage. Run and dry on ammo. We're gonna... Still a terrible shot. He is poisoned though. And our Mimic Beacon is still in play. So what we do is we do we also have to make sure that we actually do take out that stun lancer. So here's what we're gonna do. Move up. Fire the weapon, take out his cover. My weapon is almost Oh right. Forgot about that. Okay, well, we only have two shots left. Can anyone... No. I don't know what I was thinking there. So... We'll run up. And then Mimic Beacon. Oh, no, wait. One, two... Oh, we only have two people left. Okay, I can't even count today. Alright, here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna run up here. Moving to designated coordinates. Fire on this heavy lancer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, I know. All right. We're going to move up here. I'm going. And we're going to toss this mimic beacon because lord knows our team can't hit shots. And then we're just going to let the let the mimic beacon eat these two shots. Should be too. Oh, okay. Oh, because you're poisoned. Oh, no. Yeah, you should. That's weird. Okay. Well, you just ate seven damage. And you flanked yourself. Uh, don't get so worked up about the Mimic Beacon. It isn't real. Okay. Now then. Got ourselves a hollow target. Let's go ahead and finish this Archon off. See, this is why Archons are not very, uh, great. Yes, 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 yes. Put this guy down, hopefully. Good. And then on a 92, our game has two shots. That should be enough. Good stuff. All right, so we got... Another pod out here somewhere. Reload. Reload. You're overly aggressive too? Well, fortunately, there aren't any other... Um, uh, enemies in sight for us to mess that up. But it's good to know. So let's we'll take another turn to reload. The nice thing about this mission is that we can take all the time that we want. Let's we'll see what happens if we over Okay. Reload. Vicente, uh, Sergio, sorry. Sergio, my bad. Uh, it's actually been doing all right for somebody whose aim is not uh, all that stellar. I am kind of curious where this other pot is, though. 
So we may just throw out a battle scanner here. So we haven't used them all that much yet. Got to remember, though, that if you have the sit rep, nothing there. There's still quite a bit of map left on this, huh? Okay. Well, we're going to use somebody as a scout who is not overly aggressive. Uh, everybody is overly aggressive. <laughs> this is the overly aggressive quad. They've killed so many aliens that they're just like, I want to kill some aliens. And Commander doesn't know what he's doing, Ghost. which is a fair, a true enough. Heading to that location. Neutralize all hostile enemy forces here. We get these corpses, which is great. I mean, that sounds very, you know, like almost disturbing in its own way. Gonna move up to this tree. Step on up. And step on up. That engagement with the Archon ha ha bleh, went about as well as uh, one could hope for. I'm going to sit rep you as well. But I'm not going to have you overwatch. Waiting for those sound waves, but they're not coming. Some even more supplies here. Hmm. Moving to designated coordinates. Like All right, there's our third pod. You are not... <clears throat> Who's our other concealed? You're concealed. You're concealed. Okay, you are concealed. I guess the question is then... How far do we go? We don't want to... There's that purifier and two... Stun Lancer and an Advent Commander. It would be great if we could have the Advent Purifier move forward so that he doesn't trip the supplies. I also want to move these guys up. No need to ask twice. And then how far can we go to ambush this last pod? Concealed. That is if we can get him pretty close, that would be ideal. Just got to be sure that we don't pop another pod in the process. You've got a bead on the advent officer. You can actually see all three of them. 53, 43. Advanced officer. I might hollow target him. Target preview. I'm going to make you a sit rep as well. And then... We'll just move forward here. I basically want the squad when they move, when we pop this pod, that these guys are not going to know where our squad is, which would mean optimum firing. No, I don't want you. Are you on a long watch? Or are you just a squatty? I think you're just a squatty. Yeah. Okay. So, what we do here is... We move up. And take one more turn. Unless they move forward, in which case this all goes to pieces. But... We're just going to end our turn here. And these guys were just chilling as well while all that firefight was going on. It's like, don't you guys actually, like, hear the explosions? But, whatever. I guess, actually, the, ex the acid grenade should not damage the crate. Um, but you're the one with hollow targeting. What about our other grenadier? You just are a shredder. I could fire the flashbang as well. What we could also do is fire on that advanced purifier. I think I'm going to go with that and then everybody else can just clean up. 
damage. Nice. I did take a risk on that crate. Although one crate would not have made much of a difference. Alright, so they did move up. And now I have all kinds of options. I guess the question is, we just gotta be sure that we deal enough damage. If I do justice on this heavy lancer, that's 74%. I can also whiplash for six. Not the best percentage. Um, let's see here. I can run and gun. Straight up murder. The that's a flank on the officer. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Hundred percent. What the heck? Okay, yeah, I was about to say. Yes, you did. Uh, I was confused at first too, so it's all good. And now, just really just melt the stun lancer down. All right, yep. I'll go. He's like, oh, I did not even see them there. See and just straight up murder this guy. Shot him right in the crotch. That's just wrong. We're going to go ahead and finish this job. He's like, ah, oh, where are these guys come from? I can just imagine, like, an alien commander playing XCOM from the alien side. He's just like, more battalion. This game is so unfair. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. And there we go. Take ourselves a mission photo for a job well done, boys. That was excellent. Flawless mission. That sit rep, the conceal sit rep is just ridiculous. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. All right. So that mimic beacon is actually becoming vital to surviving Archon encounters. Um, so that's a little distressing. But other than that, our troops are making it look easy out there, Commander. All thanks to you. And then we're gonna go ahead and promote the uh, Squaddy Delgado. Actually, we're gonna hold off on that until I figure out what we're gonna do with him. 156 supplies, all kinds of other good stuff as well. Look at this! Look at this! This was an excellent haul, which we really needed. So, Soldier Bond available. Aaron Hayes and Vicente Alonso. Okay. Um, supply drop is in four days. Tactical education. We're gonna put these guys in. Let's go ahead and do that. Level two, spotter one. Hmm. When this soldier ends a move adjacent to their bondmate, their bondmate will automatically cleanse of any negative mental effects. That's interesting. I'm gonna look at our training abilities as well for a bit. What can we get? We got. 26 in the pool. Let's have a look. Deep cover. If you don't attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Or lightning reflexes. Heavy ordnance. The grenade in your grenade only slot gains a bonus use. Grenades do tend to fall off, but no it's an extra one. World into a new age. So, ever vigilant. The aliens took everything from humanity Let's see here. Salvo. Back. Launching throw grenades, you having your weapons on your first action will no longer end your turn. Hail of bullets. And that's not very good on a sharpshooter, I think. Serial. A powerful chain shot ability for every kill made with your sight rifle. Your actions will be refunded. That would be something else. Not a, not a lot of AP, though, for it. Rupture. That is excellent. Um... Kill zone is also good, but rupture I think is just fantastic. So I think we're gonna take that for some on Chatterjee. Death from above on a grenadier, eh. a dead eye. Volatile makes your grenades deal two plus more damage. He's 32 AP. 
I could just, I'm just gonna go by, I'm just gonna go on a shopping spree with him. Blast padding, demolition, unleash a volley on your target's cover. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Ergonim, tactical rigging, provides an additional utility slot, provided a soldier's armor does not already provide one. Mmm, waylay. When entering Overwatch, you can take as many shots as you have remaining actions. You, you can take as many shots as you have remaining actions. Interesting. Retribution. Pre ripjack. Attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range. Eh. Wraith. Use grapple to pull yourself to an enemy. Throw a grenade or using action. <clears throat> Let's see. Full throttle. Waylay. Reckoning. Unlocks the ripjack slash attack. Uh, okay. Retribution. Three ripjack attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range. Um, when entering Overwatch, you can take as many shots as you have remaining actions. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That might be useful once we get rid of the... Uh, once we get rid of the... Uh, my brain refuses to work once we get rid of overly aggressive on him. Go ahead and grab that for now. Retribution. I don't know if it'll get useful. Salvo. Launching throw grenades. Will not end your turn. Immediately enter concealment. I think we'll grab that. Ranger guardian with every successful overwatch shot. We have a lot of gifted people. Implacable. Conceal. Hollow targeting. Mm, rupture. Yes. Rupture will be very useful, mostly because the uh, system, actually. And we're back. All right. So, as I was saying, if I remember correctly, before the break, Rupture uh, means that everybody, that uh, the target will take an additional three damage from all attacks in the future. That'll be useful for things like Archons that have high HP at the moment. Let's see here. Oh, that's right. I wasn't quite sure which. He's got both. Oh, squad sight and gunslinger, right. Okay. So we have here, run and gun on a grenadier. Sounds just fabulous. And then some more guardian. <laughs> Every successful overwatch shot, there's a 50% chance that another shot is taken. He's our long watcher. Uh, this is Matt. It's been a while since we've seen Matt. Then blast padding, eh. No one, doesn't really matter. And now we're back to our, uh, soldier. So, we've got, we've got a gunslinger, we got a long watcher. I think the gunslingers might actually be a bit more effective, but we need to look at our sharpshooters. We do have only three of them. Yeah, she's a... Hail of bullets. Unleash a hail of bullets is guaranteed to hit your target, but uses a lot of ammunition. Not all that great on a gunslinger. Uh, having said that, if we do give her something that death from above, killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle only costs a single action and does not end a turn. Com in combination, eh, well, we can't get both, but you never know. That might be useful. So let's see, so I think I want another gunslinger just because uh, they tend to be the ones that uh, I wind up using more often. One, two, three, four, five, six people available. Bond training on covert action. Other people are lightly wounded or otherwise tired, so they're going to be coming back soon, which is great. Clearing alien debris, shadow chamber. For most of my Oop. Okay. Not now. We're gonna go back. We were... Scorched Earth on the two days for the what supply drop. Not sure what simple machines he's referring to. Let's get ourselves... Got 157 supplies, but before we do that... 
Let's see, is there anything? We need to use some more recruitment, I believe. So we're going to grab a few other people and recruit and recruit. And then we will go to view soldiers. Wait, no, no, no. Guerrilla Tactics School. Okay, we got rookie training. Is there anything that we can pick up in here? 5% chance, mentally awake, start every mission with one focus. Eh, not for 75 supplies. Explosives can inflict critical damage. Eh. Range attacks against flank enemies, deal one damage. Swords have a bonus 10% crit chance to critically crit enemies. Is there anything in... Uh, no. Hello, Engineering. Sir. Build items. Weapons. Uh, Grenadier upgrade, arc blade, ionic jack, ionic rip jack. 30, 30, 100. We use our grenadiers quite a bit. So we'll go do that. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually a threat to the aliens, and they know it. Mm -hmm. Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies remember what we're fighting for. Okay. My father didn't die so we could become a race of cowering test subjects for the aliens to toy with. Uh -huh. We just have to get the people's attention. Our research is progressing as expected, Commander. Yeah. What can I do for the you, plasma Commander? grenade was 60 supplies. Okay, we'll get. That is the next thing that we will be working on. Because we definitely need to upgrade our our grenades because they're starting to become a bit of a liability. So two. One. Strategic resource located. Okay. Get a soldier. Nut. I was interested, but now that we can recruit people, I'm actually okay with that. We do need to make contact. Cancel. Let me see here. Where's the best place to make contact right before the break? One, two, three. I think this is it, actually. So let's go ahead and make contact, which is instant because of that resistance order. You loud and clear. Get 55 supplies. Regional contacts located. Commander, the resistance forces we just contacted in this region have provided us all the intel they have on the Chosen actively working in the area. Your tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me, Alright, so now we have revealed the assassin as the last chosen on the board. We do want to, we have made contact with this area. We could go for 69 supplies. Let's see, what else have we got? Black Market, uh, Illyrium Crystals, Soldier, and more alien alloys. Um, what is the best? I almost want to hit this facility. Before the supply drop, I'm not sure. That is, yeah. Muton, Shield Bearer, Heavy Lancer, Advanced Officer, Viper. Not too worried about that, but there is the Alien Ruler. Let's go back. What's going on here? Okay. Interesting. Armory. We're gonna. I didn't actually read that. Squatty. Hey, is that Squatty Haze? Um. Hmm. It's interesting. Let's have a look. Overly aggressive. Everybody is very aggressive on my team. Fear of missed shots. Chance to panic when missing a shot. Oh, that stinks. We're going to throw you in the infirmary. Is it Kate O'Reilly? I think it's Kate O'Reilly. I'm missing my... <laughs> really should pay more attention. What is it? Oh, PCS. Okay. Kate O'Reilly. Overly aggressive. No. She's only got a negative trait. And then it's Fear of Missed Shots. Uh, Aaron Hayes. Oh, okay. Yep. Can't have that. That's definitely something we can't have. What? Oh. Are we bonding? Is that what I, why she's not available? Yes, that's why. Okay. She acquired a Fear of Missed Shots while training. That really stinks. But, alright. Let's see now. So we'll go back 
And let's see, do we want to? We can't afford to do any of that. We're just basically waiting for the supplies. I guess we'll scan for the soldier. And then we're going to wait for the supply drop. Yep. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. Okay. We're running out of time. Okay. Well, note that that uh, changes our strategic layout a bit. Let's go ahead and assault this facility. I want to take that thing out as soon as possible, but let's go to our armory first and view the soldiers who are available. Uh, which is almost everybody. Uh, the rookies don't count, but um. <clears throat> I think when we go back to the grid and actually see, I wish the shadow chamber would actually stay up so that we can actually see them. How many pips? How many pips? One pip? Two pips. Make contact over there as well. Something to keep in mind for the future. The, we were to build, to take 150 supplies. That's ridiculous. We just need a lot more intel. Um, that intel costs 120. Where does the intel... I'm just trying to get a feel for how much intel we're actually going to need. 80 intel, and then another one. So, we can knock this facility out pretty easily. Heavy mech, advanced trooper, muton, avan, shield bearer. Alright, let's go ahead and assault this facility. for Eastern European War. I know there's a strategy that says you can just let it pip up and then work on the doom counter, but I, but countdown clocks make me nervous. I'm gonna make everything available, just real quick, and then, just like the last episode, uh, I will sweat, I will wipe to the, when we've got everybody kitted out, so I'll see you in a bit, alright, bye. <gasps> Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. All right, so now we have no choice but to take over the facility. The only way we're going to slow the elders' progress is by destroying one of their facilities. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. advanced trooper Muton Advent Shield Bearer. Okay. All right, we are back. We've got ourselves Lieutenant Dunn kitted out uh, with her. Uh, actually, let me check through real quick. See, the tracer rounds. Do we want that instead of the frag grenade? The frag grenade is kind of almost useless at this point, especially since we're bringing somebody else with them. Anyways, so the Dunn, she's going to be our combat specialist uh, with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Dunn. She's got herself a pretty decent loadout here. And uh, I did forget to check to make sure. We got also uh, Victor Smirnov because Saman Chatterjee is still tired, so he's going to be out for a bit. He's going to be sporting a rocket launcher. The loadout here is also... Uh, I forgot to get a hair trigger on that. Uh, Sujin Zong, who's our sergeant grenadier. She's going to get ourselves get her a bit of experience. Uh, Lieutenant Shaw, we also... Uh, the bondmate of Kamishi Boroto, who is our Templar. The unfortunate part is that our Templar, uh, because we have the mutants on the field, and we also need a lot more firepower than Kasimi can actually bring. So, not a lot there. So, basically, we're going to bring Shaw out. Um, one thing I do want to grab, though, is the loadout for Predator Armor. I'm not sure why to get the spider suit. Excellent. Just in case we need to get up on top. Uh, most likely, though, that will not be the case, but still. Erganim is back. I did pull him. Uh, he will be tired after this mission, but that's just the risk we're going to have to take. Um, he's got the blue screen rounds to take care of the heavy mechs that are on the field. And then uh, O'Reilly is here to uh, take care of the situation of any, any explosives needed to shred armor in case we just miss or need some guaranteed damage. Uh, do we have anything else in terms of 
the weapons. Because we are going to face an alien ruler. Oh, we do not have a ranger. Mm -mm -mm. Still, I think this should be sufficient. The frost, we are bringing the frost bomb to neutralize the alien ruler. But the reality of it is, is that we're not quite equipped, but we should be able to take care of it. And as you saw on that other cut, the we need to take out this facility or else it's game over. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Alright, so next time, Operation Ice Walk with the campaign on the line. We're going to sabotage an alien facility. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been that Catholic Gamer Dude playing XCOM 2. If you like what you saw, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please click the subscribe button. If you'd like to see everything posted to this channel, please click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you later.